what's approximately two inches long, weighs less than an ounce, and makes a pair of important hormones which regulate the way your body uses energy. The thyroid, something people don't appreciate until something goes wrong. Most time it's because they have a mass in their thyroid. They feel it or sometimes they have problems swallowing. The mass can be cancerous or harmless. Doctors will determine which. Our typical workup is we get an ultrasound with a biopsy. And if that shows suspicious for cancer or cancer, then we would do surgery. It's done in a skin crease to hide the scar the best. Rather than an incision from one side of the neck to the other, we may make an incision an inch or less. Many times problems stem from the inner workings. When all is well, the thyroid regulates metabolism. But if it underproduces or overproduces hormones, it can have a real impact on your health. Typically, their calcium is elevated. And then in the workup, they find it's secondary to primary hyperparathyroidism. Hyperparathyroidism can cause a myriad of symptoms. Uh, peptic ulcer disease, it can cause mental confusion, accelerated atherosclerosis, kidney stones, pancreatitis. So it can cause a dramatic amount of problems if left untreated. Both hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism are diagnosed by measuring levels of TSH in the bloodstream. The low producing hypothyroidism may be controlled by medication. Drugs are slightly less successful in hyperthyroidism and patients may undergo thyroid removal. In general it's a pretty safe procedure. They'll be back to work uh, in four or five days. They usually have a sore throat but in general they have a very fast recovery. While there's no replacement for a working thyroid, the body can get by with a synthetic hormone replacement. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.